Are NFTs still a thing to this day? What are your views on it? Is an NFT something that can change the future of technology for the better? We may already have discussed NFTs in our previous videos, but today we decided to open up and discuss the existence of NFTs, what they are, and whether they have the potential to change our future in a good or bad way. Welcome to the Crypto Kings YouTube channel. On this channel, our team works tirelessly to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss any of the great content we have planned for you. Also, if this video is helpful to you at all, please like this video and leave a comment with what type of video you'd love to see next. The first thing you'd want to know is what NFTs are. It can be easily misunderstood that they are digital assets, like artworks or items from video games. We believe that creates a huge misconception of what they really are, because NFTs are not artworks nor assets from a video game. NFT is short for non-fungible token. If you're familiar with the word fungible, it basically is another word for saying something that can't be changed or replaced. Basically, if we break it down, NFT is a token that cannot be easily changed or replaced by anything. In addition to that, it's not really related to cryptocurrencies, but it is definitely a part of the blockchain. You can't even visualize what an NFT looks like because an NFT itself is merely data. And this data is a digital certificate of ownership, which has been applied to artworks you've been seeing on the internet. That's what these NFT artists have been doing. The digital certificates are recorded onto the blockchain, so whenever you see an artwork that has been categorized as an NFT, no matter how many people will duplicate it on the internet by a copy and paste, the digital certificate on the blockchain will still be there to verify the ownership, which leads to another issue about the use of NFTs, which we'll discuss later. If you're still not getting what NFTs are, let's focus on the fungible part of the NFT. Think about collectible cards or vintage toys like Beanie Babies. Collectibles are something a lot of people tend to get into as a hobby or investment over the last several decades, which not only expresses their interest, but they believe at the time to be great financial investments. But until now, we can see how much time has changed, and those things that used to be trendy in the past aren't trending anymore today. The NFT wants to deviate from that kind of outcome thanks to the existence of the blockchain. Let's say you're a card collector of your favorite show or game. There happens to be a limited edition card that is worth hundreds of thousands or even million dollars because that's the rarest card ever produced. And once it's gone, whether it's torn or irreversibly damaged, it's literally gone. And then it's no longer worth having anymore. And your money has gone to waste. But NFTs can potentially live forever. Here's the weird thing. When we think of putting value onto artworks like those of Pablo Picasso, it ends up being worth millions of dollars over time and are well-preserved physical assets. NFT artworks, on the other hand, are a bit different. You may have seen some viral articles or tweets about an artwork that's worth billions of dollars, and the artwork you've seen is just a JPEG image of a cartoon-style cat, or another artwork that's simply just a rock. Because of the fact that they are put up as NFTs, they have their own digital signature that is recorded onto the blockchain, thus becoming a unique asset, which cannot be duplicated ever. But the image itself can be recklessly duplicated all over the internet by hundreds of other users. Now before we discuss further about the images and the artworks, let's first go over how the blockchain works. If you're not familiar with it by now, blockchain is a database that is ever going with blocks of information, like a ledger. But a blockchain is something that no authoritative party can touch or control, because it is decentralized. So whenever someone makes a transaction on the blockchain, everyone can publicly see the transaction going through. Between us and our banks, there's usually a middleman that handles our transactions, but on the blockchain, the transaction is looked after by a network of people to verify that this person made this transaction. This is also what's happening with NFTs. Each NFT created, they are recorded onto the blockchain, and they can also be exchanged for cryptocurrencies, since they are also part of the blockchain. You are now probably wondering, does the image also become part of the blockchain? Knowing that NFTs are not artworks but digital certificates, the images are just on the websites. Notice how there are platforms for buying and selling NFTs, and people tend to share it onto other platforms in order for their audience to see it. What if we take those platforms away? What will be left of those NFTs? You'll actually still have the verifiable ownership, of course, but then you'll have to find another platform to allow someone to buy it from you or loan it. And NFTs can only be exchanged on the blockchain. In other words, they're depending on the platform the images currently exist on to showcase their presence in order to let viewers be able to see it as an NFT asset. And this leads to another problem, trusting the website domain and the owner of it. NFTs may have been trending, but it's been mostly under a negative light. 
But that's not to say we are against NFTs. We are only aware of what it's been used for ever since it became popular. There have been cases of scams as well as mistakes that have led sellers to lose their potential wealth after making silly typos. That's the problem with having a decentralized ledger. But there's even a bigger problem, the artwork and images that are being used to make NFTs. Once you buy an NFT artwork from someone, there's no way to tell how you'll recognize it. You may have invested on a JPEG image, but in truth, you're only investing on the NFT itself. All these visual images or animations being sold as NFTs are not part of the blockchain. And in order to be part of the blockchain would require lots and lots of power to do so. Most Westerners' view of NFTs have been focusing on the environmental impact of it, which is really understandable. The environmental damage is one of the worst harmful cases that the NFT system has caused globally. A blockchain like Ethereum, where NFTs are more popular, consumes at least 99 terawatts of power every year. That is more than what a small country can consume each year. There's also a single artist who was able to sell NFTs which use 175 megawatts of power, which is equivalent to 21 years of creating greenhouse gas emissions for a typical US household. That's how risky it becomes as more NFTs are being used on the blockchain. You may see more projects come out to prove they use less energy consumption now, but that's not the point of this topic. The way NFTs work right now is still very young and still too early to tell how it'll unfold as it progresses. And the way it's progressing right now is still very slow. We're not saying that NFTs are useless right now. Assuming you understand what NFTs really are by now, you can tell the potential feats it can bring if these issues we've discussed earlier are actually resolved in some shape or form. NFTs can benefit a lot of creators all over the world because of the fact that they can receive 100% of the profits, rather than having to sign a contract with a corporate figure and only take a portion of their hard-earned money, giving the rest of the company as a revenue. That's the issue artists are dealing with at present. They can be exploited and be stripped of their hard work at any time. If there's a chance that the NFT system can be built solely on that, with the ability to sort both the certificate and the image onto the blockchain without too much energy consumption, maybe there's a chance it can succeed. But right now, it's still too early to tell. Another note, NFTs are also being used for video games, where in-game items and contents can be owned by players along with a player or model, which is also promising. But overall, NFTs have been introduced both as a bizarre scheme and a euphoric idea as many people quickly try to get their hands on it. It does have the potential for future technology, but considering the factors that have occurred ever since, we should probably hope it can be used to further improve these obstacles as people continue to invest in it. And that is it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the Crypto Kings, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for our next video, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who support our channel, and we will see you again very soon in our next video.